All right, what's happening, everybody? It's your boy Akeen, and welcome to the Pro Football Exclusive NFL Blog. Continuing my top five prospects for each position for the 2012 NFL Draft. Today, I need to talk about my top five defensive tackles. Now, I have a very special group in this on this um, listing. Also, I have one particular player who had an outstanding workout at the NFL Draft Combine, particularly the best workout this season. Now, at number five, I want to start with Jarrell Worthy of Michigan State. This kid is a big guy at six foot three, three hundred and eight pounds. This kid is wide, so he could definitely clog up that line of scrimmage. But the thing that he needs to work on is his pass rushing skills, and I think he, he has enough time to develop that before he, he heads on to this season. He just needs to practice his moves a little bit and get quicker off the line of scrimmage as soon as the ball is snapped. At number four, I'm going to go with Penn State's Devin Still. This kid had 17 tackles for loss this season, and he was arguably one of the top players this season. In college football defensively. He was just a wreck, and ha wreck of havoc in that line of scrimmage, and he definitely can shed a double team um, t attack at any time. One thing he does need to work on is his ability to tackle players, players in the open field. When there is open space, he kind of struggles at that area, but I think he has just uh, enough skills to develop to become a good defensive tackle in the NFL, a starting defensive tackle. And number three, I'm going to go with Fletcher Cox of Mississippi State. Now this guy, he had a great workout. He ran a 4.7940 at just under 300 pounds. He's a little bit slim, but he has a quick speed and he has a good explosive burst coming off that line of scrimmage and he could definitely get into that backfield. At number two, now this is a surprise to everybody. Don Terry Poe of Memphis. I'm going with him at number two. He had the best workout in the NFL Draft Combine and a lot of people actually have him as a number one defensive tackle coming in to this year's NFL Draft. But the reason why I have him at number two is because of his numbers in his senior season. He had to deal with a little bit of a senior-itis. He had just eight tackles for loss and one sack to go with 33 tackles. It shows that he doesn't show too much effort when I was watching the tape. There was some times where he was kind of lollygagging to me in certain plays. And I think he just because of this workout, I think he's just boosting up his draft status to get that extra money. But we will see, though. I really think he can become a good player. He has the potential. 346 pounds and he ran under a 5 flat 40 at 498 and that's just outstanding 346 pounds at going at that speed that could be causing problems to a lot of ball carriers in the NFL but he just needs to have the great mentality and have a good work ethic to become a great Pro Bowl type um, defensive tackle in the NFL. He has the size, he has the measurables, he has the speed, but he just needs to have that mentality and that work ethic, and we will see what will come happen his rookie season. Now, at number one, I'm going to go with Michael Brockers of LSU. Now, unlike Poe, he had a lot of productivity this season. Ten tackles for loss to go along with 54 tackles. It shows that he was a lot more involved with his team uh, 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 opposed to Poe, and that's why I have him at number one. Now, this guy, he can Havoc in the line of scrimmage, just like the other um, defensive tackles, and he could definitely shed blocks in the double team technique. But he needs to work on his pass rushing skills. Sometimes he lacks some of his certain techniques. He comes sometimes stands upright, and I think he just needs to bend down a little bit lower and get better leverage against the defense against the offensive line. But this is a great pl player coming out of LSU. He was the anchor of this D line, and that D line for LSU played tremendously this season. He was definitely that anchor this year for the LSU. Tigers. Now I have a couple of honorable mentions I need to talk about. Two in particular. Start with Brandon Thompson of Clemson. He had 77 tackles this season. He is definitely a, 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 a nose, nose from sideline to sideline. He will be all over the field. He could be a good addition to any team in the NFL. Also, UConn's Kendall Reyes. Now this guy just barely missed my top five. He's actually my number six defensive tackle coming into this year's NFL draft. He ran under a five flat 40. He had a great workout. Just under four 40 reps and the bench press at 225 pounds. This kid, he had a great workout and a good season as well this year for the UConn Huskies. And I think he could be a good third, fourth round selection for this year's NFL Draft. Now, my sleeper this season, I'm going to go with Boise State's Billy Wynn. This kid had a pretty good productivity throughout his career in college football. He didn't have big numbers, but he had a decent workout. He ran a 5 flat 40 this, this year in the NFL Draft Combine. He had um, 24 reps at 225 pounds. He just needs to get a little bit stronger, but I think he could be a good, solid defensive tackle. He might even merge into a defensive end, depending on um, if his 
decides if he decides to lose weight and just have bulk up and, and increase his speed. And I think he could be a good he could be a, a good versatile defensive lineman. He could convert to the defensive end and the defensive tackle. But I think he's going to play mainly defensive tackle. But I think because of his years in college football and his experience, I think he could be a good addition to any team in the NFL. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys is later on today to give you my top five outside linebackers. Thank you for watching this vlog from Pro Football Exclusive. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.